Hi everyone, so today I'm doing a Pixie Lot makeup tutorial. Now this I was meant to film about two months ago as part of my Sigma brushes competition that I ran but I've only just got around to doing it so I'm sorry if you guys have been waiting for it but it's finally here, finally done it and got around to doing it and this is the final look. It's a lot more dramatic than anything that I would normally wear even on a night out. Um, I'm not usually into very very dramatic makeup but I absolutely love this look. Pixie Lot often wears very smoky eyes is her general trademark look. She doesn't always wear bright lips but the specific picture that I found of her that I absolutely love her makeup in, I will put a link in the information bar, it's going to be the first link there, um, is what I base this look on. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and I'll get right into it. Okay so as you can see this eye is already done, this one is just a little bit naked. I have actually put my foundation on already just because I thought it would save time. If you guys want to know the foundation that I used was my favourite NARS Sheer Glow. I actually use a mixture between Mont Blanc which is the light one there and Barcelona which is kind of a strange mix, I've spoken about this before, but for the Pixie Lot look she is very pale. Um, but not that much paler than me because I'm pretty pale anyway so I just used a little bit lighter mix than I would usually use for this so I'm going to skip that part and get on with the eyes now the first thing that I'm going to do is put a base on my eye and I'm actually going to use gel eyeliner for this um, the one I'm going to use is Max Black Track Fluid Line but you can use any gel, any black gel eyeliner that you want. You don't have to use a black base, but it does make it a whole lot easier when it comes to actually putting eyeshadow on. You're not having to cake on black eyeshadow to get that dark look. So what I'm going to do now is take a Sigma SS266 brush, which is just an angled liner brush. And I'm going to put this all over my eyelid. Now this doesn't have to be very neat because we're going to blend it out in a minute with our finger. So. that will do. Just put it all over the lid and then I'm going to take a little bit more and just run that under the bottom lash line. Again, you don't have to be neat because we're going to blend this out in a minute. So you're going to have something that looks a bit like that. Now remember to screw the lid onto any gel eyeliners that you have as soon as you can after using them because they do dry out very fast. And what I'm going to do now is take my ring finger on my right hand just so that it looks a little bit more smoky you just want to blend the edges out and then blend the colour on the lid so that it's as even as you can get the next thing that I'm going to do is just smudge out that bottom lash line and I'm going to use a Sigma SS 219 for this so I'm just running that along that liner that I put under my eye and you can also use this um, to help you smudge out the top lid if you like. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is actually put some eyeshadow on top of that. So I'm only using three eyeshadows in this look and I've put them all, this in, in, ugh, and I've put them all in this quad so that you can see uh, a bit easier than if I use the big palette. So the first one that I'm going to use is Carbon which is from MAC and that is just a matte black. You can use any matte black eyeshadow that you like. It doesn't even have to be matte if you don't want it to be. You can use one with a little bit of shimmer. Um, but that's the one I'm going to be using and I'm going to take this on a SS252 which is a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to get some product on there and tap off any excess so what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to pop this on top of that black base just to intensify the colour and just take it right up to that point where you've blended it out and then I'm going to take the same little pencil brush if I can find it the SS219 and get a little bit of it on there and tap off the excess again and then just intensify that line under there as well and smudge it out and you want to take that just into the inner corner too but not too much okay, so when we've done that I'm actually going to put a little bit of satin taupe on top of that. Now if you look at my other eye you can see there is a browny kind of taupe colour on top of that and if you look at the picture of Pixie Lot that I'm actually using as reference for this video she does have a browner tone and I like satin taupe, it's just this shimmery taupe colour, it's really really pretty to create that effect and the brush I'm going to use is, dropping brushes everywhere, the SS239 from Sigma again and I'm just going to collect a little bit of this on the brush, tap off the excess and then you want to put this starting off in the crease 
and then you want to take it down it looks like you've got a thick liner there which is actually the eyeshadow but you want to take that about halfway down the lid and then you also want to push it up just onto the brow bone at the bottom there and then across right into the corner too okay so you want to take a SS224 blending brush and then just blend those colours together and blend out any lines that you've created with that eyeshadow try not to stray too much from where you've put it you don't want to end up with eyeshadow all over your face but you just want to be blending out the line so next off I'm going to put a highlight colour on my brow bone and for this I'm going to be using Max Orb um, this looks white because my lighting is pretty bad but it's actually not white it's a very very pale flesh toned pink and this works for me personally as a natural highlight colour but if you have you can use any matte highlight colour that you like that works for your skin tone so I'm just going to apply this using a SS275 just onto the brow bone there and then you want to make sure that it's blended nicely into that satin taupe colour below it because you don't want to end up with a white stripe on your eyebrow which some people do and it looks bad so this actually works to blend in that colour as well because it's quite a fluffy brush and I like to take highlight colour just down a little bit around the socket line and the, into the inner corner okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is just take an eyeliner now I'm going to be using Max Smolder which is just their black eyeliner and I'm going to place this in the waterline so if you just pull down and draw this into your waterline. If you have problems doing this, you might actually be using an eyeliner that's too hard. Max Smolder eyeliner is really great for lining the waterline because it's so soft. Make sure you kind of try and get in between the lashes too, so that you can't see any skin through that. And then I'm just going to pull my eyelid up and just line the wa top waterline there. So that is pretty much it for the eyes. All I'm going to do now is just put on some false eyelashes. Now I'm going to do a separate tutorial for this because I haven't done one already and I know a lot of people struggle with eyelashes. So if you want to see how I put on my fake eyelashes, go and watch this video now. I'll put a link in here. And I will be back in a second. Okay, so now I've got my eyelashes on. I've also popped a little bit of mascara on. I did that before I put my eyelashes on just so that I can reuse them. So now I'm actually going to pop a little bit of mascara on the bottom lashes really quickly. It's one thing that Pixie Lot does have and she always wears tons of false eyelashes. I saw an interview with her and her makeup artist together and they said they actually usually layer up to three pairs of false eyelashes on when she's on stage. So if you think she looks like she's got great eyelashes, they're very very fake but they do look cool. I am going to do a little bit of a contour on my cheeks. Now for that I'm going to use Sleek's Face Contour Kit in light. I'm going to use a Sigma 168 contour brush and I'm just going to take the matte brown powder, tap off any excess and just run this a little bit under my cheekbones in the hollow of my cheek there and just blend that in. A little bit through my temple and then slightly onto my forehead and then on the other side make sure you take this right up to your ear even onto your ear a little bit so that it blends in and doesn't look like you've just drawn a line there and then using the same brush I'm just going to use a tiny bit of blush she really doesn't have much colour on her cheeks at all but I'm just going to use a tiny bit of Benefit's Sugar Bomb blush and just put that on the apples on my cheeks and then up through my cheekbones. In this look, she does have very bright pink lips, so I'm going to use my, well, one of my favourite lipsticks, and that is, that I don't use very often because it's really, really bright, and that is Max Show Orchid, which is this super bright um, pink with blue undertones. And I've already put some lip balm on my lips before I started this tutorial, so make sure you do that first because you don't want it sticking to any dry patches in your lips. And I'm just going to put this on straight from the tube. You can use lip liner if you like. Personally, I really don't like lip liner. I like to just put it on straight out of the tube. Um, you also have to be careful because it's a very bright colour. Okay, 
and then I just very very gently just blend the edges of this with my finger I know you should use a lip liner for this but this is what works for me so that's what I'm going to do Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just put a little bit of Revlon's Lilac Pastel lip gloss over the top of this. Now this is just to tone this down a little bit. If you look at the reference photo that I've used, Pixie Lot's actually not wearing that, that bright. This is showing up even brighter than it does in real life, I think. So I'm just going to tone this down with a little bit of this Lilac lip gloss. This actually brings out the blue in, um, in the colour as well really nicely, which I love. Okay, so that is the look finished. I'm going to take my hair down now because it looks like an absolute mess, just up how it is. So that is it for my Pixie Lot makeup tutorial. I will try and include some photos if I can, just so that the lighting is a little bit better. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I haven't done this tutorial in a very, very long time, so it's been really fun doing one again. Let me know if you have any questions or anything, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.